I think what USC wants to do right now is really trying to make it the best in the world. USC is very rich in terms of different groups, so it has the best film school in the world, different institutions with different models, so you basically have more variety. So for instance, for Institute of Creative Technology, it's very easy for them to get huge funding for some projects that in a normal university wouldn't be possible. Right? So my research is about, on the very low level, trying to reconstruct reality, right? So you try to, you have reality, physical things, and you're trying to digitize everything. And the digitization process means two things. One, filling holes, and the second thing, having a complete representation of things and allow the computer to understand what's happening. Why this thing is super important right now is because it's getting democratized. This is like a first step into bringing those kind of capture technologies to commodity. So this is the final thing, right? So to get from here to here, what you need to solve is a sort of correspondence problem. So is there a way to do this automatically, right? So we, I have this, developed this algorithm that allows you to actually do this. So you have like two arbitrary geometric shapes. So everything I do is a geometric problem. Right? So you use geometry, you formulate this as an energy minimization problem, <clears throat> and then solve for unknowns and it sort of like just automatically warps there. And most importantly, you can capture faces, right? So when you capture faces, um, this is sort of like the holy grail in computer graphics because it's so difficult to animate a face. If there's something off with your face, it just doesn't look realistic. So I'm interested in human bodies. So human bodies, obviously, what you want to do is you want to capture, um, you know, you want to have complete representation of things and also when things are in motion. The question is, can we do this at home? yourself. So we take the, the approach of using the lowest cost uh, sensing device. So for example, you take a $100 Kinect, put it somewhere in your living room, and uh, you, just go, you just move there, you turn around, and you just do this, and the thing computes automatically without having anyone, any human in the loop. It gets you this like high quality um, geometry and this high quality texture. So you can get this like three-dimensional print. Obviously, since you digitized yourself, the next thing is you can automatically have your digital avatar. So this is a collaboration with uh, Ari Shapiro from uh, USC ICT. And he basically developed this thing called Smart Buddy and can digitize someone in like five minutes. It's as if you're in the game, right? Uh, I do collaborate with Disney. I have a lot of discussions with uh, DreamWorks and obviously I'm still attached with Lucasfilm. All these things, they don't only apply for um, computer graphics, for entertainment, but also in science. So here's like one project where we're trying to uh, correlate cardiac surface mechanics with um, um, uh, electrophysiology. So basically we're trying to um, capture the beating of the heart at the highest fidelity as possible. So this thing was, we had like 200,000 samples. We were tracking the points and at 666 frames per second. So we know exactly what's happening.